from Duke Cannon, courtesy of viewer William Meredith, Hot Shave. It's a clear warming shave gel. We're going to shave with it. Coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and my favorites everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Hey, we've got a brand new shaving gel in the Shave Den, courtesy of your William Meredith. William, thank you very, very much. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is. William Meredith very kindly sent in a number of items, and this was among them uh, Duke Cannon Hot Shave Clear Warming Shave Gel. Right there. Yeah, all you do is apply this, let it warm up a little bit, and then you shave. That's, that's, well, that's what it is. This falls in the category of the Super Slicks, something to use if you're in a pinch for time and want a quick shave. That's why we're going to use it. Now, I have used this before, used it once before, and for some reason I wasn't getting a warming effect. And I thought, why am I not getting a warming effect? Well, for that shave, I used a hot towel. <laughs> and I think the hot towel negated the, the warming uh, sensation that I, that you would have with this. Uh, because it already warmed up my skin, opened up my pores. And that's what this does. This will warm up your skin, open up your pores, soften your whisker. So we're going to go ahead and have a shave with this, minus the hot towel. Hopefully we'll get that contrast and we'll get that feeling of uh, warmth from the hot shave. So that's what we're going to do. We're also going to use my Rockwell T2 stainless steel adjustable razor. Yeah, absolutely wonderful, wonderful razor. Twist to open, fluidly adjustable right here on the on the uh, on the collar there and we're going to use a uh, Kai razor blade. We've been talking about these lately on the Monday Morning Mailbag program. A lot of viewers like them. There was one viewer who didn't care for them too much. But uh, we're going to go ahead and use these because I have not used these in a while. And because of the discussion, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a Kai razor blade in the, uh, in the T2 stainless, uh, stainless steel razor. So uh, here we go right here with the blade. I'm going to open it up. Okay. And there it is right there. It is not labeled at all. How about that? It's blank. It's not labeled at all. Okay. But it is a Kai razor blade. And you just drop it right in like that, twist to open, and close the doors, and then turn it all the way home to lock everything in place. Blade balance and alignment spot on. End tabs of the razor blade are enclosed in the razor head. And we're going to start this at about three and a half, about three and a half right there. Now, because it is a shaving gel, it's going to allow me to do uh, a little bit of buffing here and there, a little bit of touch up. Uh, as I uh, experienced in my first shave. So it is clear, so the slickness stays with you so that you're able to do that. So that's kind of a departure from the traditional wet shave where you have lather and you can see where you're going to shave and where you have shaved. So that's the only th only change here uh, in the shave. Now we're just going to use the we're just going to use the hot shave. That's all we're going to use, and uh, we're going to finish it up with an Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. And we're going to also use uh, Duke Cannon aftershave balm, their ice cold aftershave balm. This also came courtesy of viewer William Meredith. Again, William, thank you very very much. So uh, that's all we're. That's what we got going on right now. So we're going to go ahead and wet the face with some warm water, apply the hot shave gel, wait 20 to 30 seconds for it to warm the skin, open up the pores, soften the whisker, and then have our shave. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. I got about one day's worth of beard growth. I put on three splashes of water. We're going to go ahead and use about that much right there. Can you see that? That's how much I'm going to use. I'm going to work that between my hands and work that in. And then we're going to wait 
the 20 to 30 seconds to let that warm up the skin. And again, I think the hot towel really kind of threw off that sensation the first time around. All right, there we are. I'm not going to wipe the product off my hands. I hope that it remains, uh, the slipless remains on there and I can kind of reapply and touch up. Now, I am going to wait here and as I'm waiting right now, I am feeling that warmth kicking in. And I did not have this sensation when I used a hot towel to start off this shave. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely feeling it now. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is coming through. The warmth is definitely coming through. I don't know where we are time-wise here, but uh, yeah, it's there. It's definitely, definitely there. Wow. Yeah, that, that feels pretty warm now. That is, there is a definite warming sensation there. And uh, yeah, that's, that is unlike any other kind of shave cream, uh, shave soap, any kind of lather that I've ever experienced. That really is something. I think that's probably been a good 20, almost 30 seconds. And there is a nice, there is a nice warming there. I can feel that warming sensation there. Let's go ahead and heat up the razor here under some hot, 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 hot water. We're at, uh, let me show you again. We're at about three and a half there on the razor so you can see that. All right. So we're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. You got a Kai razor blade in there, a very, very sharp blade. A lot of them, a lot of viewers out there, a lot of wet shavers feel it's sharper than a feather blade. Uh, well, we'll see. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that is shaving nicely. And I am feeling that. That is really shaving well. I'm, I'm definitely feel that warm sensation there. Very, very smooth with this razor, but the Kai blade really has a lot of nice edge to it. Again, that slickness allows me to do a little bit of that buffing, so to speak. Okay. All right, I think that's got everything. I'm just going to throw a little water on my face and on my hands here and reapply this product. We're going to do a second pass. Just grabbed a little bit of water there. First pass, not bad. Right there in socially acceptable, socially acceptable shade territory. So we're going to put a little bit, just work that in a little bit from whatever excess I had on my hands here. The knurling on the T2 is very good. It's allowing me to get a really firm grip of the razor. We're going to turn this down to about three for pass number two. There it is right there. And reapplying this, I can tell that I, I'm, I, I've reapplied it and it's reactivated the warmth uh, on my skin right now. That is really a nice warming feeling. I can feel it more here than I can on my neck, to be honest with you. I can feel it more in this area on the cheek and on the sides of my face. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And again, it really, uh, 
really gives you a lot of glide, offers a lot of glide to where you can kind of go over some areas. Go over some areas you've already shaved. No tugging, no pulling at all. That's really nice. There's no tugging or pulling on the upper lip at all. That's really terrific. And again, I'm able just to shave over some of those areas there that I've shaved once before because of all that nice residual slickness that's there. Let me throw some water on there. Let's see where we're at. Again, the warmth is still there. That's what's so interesting. The warmth is still there. Okay, let's throw some water on there. Okay, I just splashed a little bit of water on there. Now, I think I could use a third pass, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to put a little more, just about that much right there. Man, maybe about that much right there. And I'm going to get, this will be a touch-up. I'm just going to, I would say the shave is done. But I'm going to do a little touch-up here. And I'm going to leave it at three. And we're going to do a third pass. We're going to go uh, south to north against the grain. That's nice. And now what's nice about this product is I can, let's say I want to just, you know, chase the BBS. Don't let the BBS, don't try to find the BBS, let the BBS find you. But if you get into that habit, you can rub it here like this and just, just kind of go after that and think, well, you know what, I want to knock that down just a little more. It's a nice shave. That's nice. That's a nice, nice shave. Okay, we're done. Two passes, a little bit of a touch up. Third pass, so to speak. We're going to do our two final minutes. One warm, one cold. Again, a lot of nice warmth there from this shave gel. I can still feel the warmth there. So uh, we'll see what kind of contrast we have from this to the ice cold aftershave balm. All right, so here's my two final rinses. Uh, here's my warm water rinse. A lot of slickness needed to be removed, no kidding. And I felt the warmth from the warm water, from the shave gel, and um, as I was rinsing it off, I kind of felt that warmth being removed a little bit, so to speak, even though I was under warm water. Well, you kind of know what I mean. You're removing that gel, so instead of the temperature being here, and with the warm water, it's here, warm water alone. That's that kind of sensation. All right, here's a cold water rinse.
Now that was a real kick. <laughs> that cold water felt really, really cold. There was a big contrast between that warm shaving gel and this cold water rinse, no doubt about it. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That was nice. A nice shave. BBS. I am on my way to a BBS shave. No kidding. That is... Got the upper lip underneath the nostrils cleanly. Everything is... That's marvelous. Oh, that's great. Terrific. We're going to get the Allen block here and see what kind of feedback we get. We're going to run this under some cold water. We're going to run this under some cold water and then apply it to the uh, freshly shaved face and see what kind of feedback we get. If we have any stinging, any zinging, that sort of thing. All right, here we go. Smooth as ice. That's really nice. Okay, a little zing right there. Yeah. Nothing on the upper lip or underneath the nostril, and I know I buffed that a lot. But there was some nice protection from the shave gel there. Yeah, that's terrific. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Great, great post-shave feel. All right, we're going to put this back into the dry dock like that. All right. Well, we've got that all set. Don't have a, I don't have a brush to show you. <laughs> You know, that sort of thing. We'll just let that kind of set up a little bit. We're going to be using the Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm, the Ice Cold. This is alcohol-free, menthol to cool, shea butter to hydrate. It has a sandalwood bergamot scent, as I recall. So it is a nice scent, and I am looking forward to using this, no doubt about it. So let's go ahead and apply this very, very liberally. I had a head shave this morning, and I used the T2 stainless steel razor in the shower and it did a fabulous, fabulous job. So I got that much right there. We're going to put that on the face and also the head. Kind of carry it upstairs there. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to get a little more just for the head. Okay. I like this product a lot. Oh boy, that is really, really cooling down the skin. No doubt about it. I can feel it on the face. And that is in sharp contrast to the um, warming gel. That is a nice, nice shave. Very smooth, very close, very comfortable. Great, great shave. Hey, this is a nice product. If you're in a pinch, you don't have a hot towel, <laughs> you don't have a shave brush, you're in a pinch for time, uh, Duke Cannon Hot Shave Clear Warming Gel. I recommend you pair it up with the uh, Ice Cold Aftershave Balm. Wow, that feels great right now on the face. Nice scent, but boy, does that feel nice and cool. You know, with this shave, I can tell you, Absolutely, the hot towel really threw off the uh, sensation of the hot and the cold from these two products because uh, you can't beat a hot towel. The hot towel is just so wonderful uh, to have before a shave. It does, it just does, uh, it just gives you such a great feeling. It preps the skin so wonderfully well. I love using it. Now, there are times when, you know what, you might be traveling, you might be on the road, you can't get a hot towel, or you got to do a makeshift hot towel. Well, here. You know what? Right here. Hot Shave from Duke Cannon. This will warm your skin, soften your whisker, open up your pores if you don't have access to a hot towel. I recommend a hot towel. <laughs> Get yourself a hot towel cabinet. I'll have links below. Thanks again to Jamie Horn because it really is terrific. But in those instances when you don't or you can't get to one, right here. Uh, hot Shave from Duke Cannon. Really, really enjoyed it. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. And I credit the T2 stainless steel adjustable razor with a really, really close, smooth, comfortable shave. And the Kai Blade 
paired up in this razor beautifully. I mean, uh, a really, really nice, super sharp blade that worked very, very well in this razor. Uh, I fear that if I had turned it up to four, wow, yeah, I probably would have gotten a lot more uh, feedback from the Allen block. Three and a half, three and three quarters, that's probably my limit there. I kept it to three and a half just to be on the safe side because I wasn't wanted to make sure that this was going to give me enough protection, and it did. So next time around I use it, I'll probably turn this up a little bit. What's the other thing that's really nice is that when you're using a product like this, a Super Slick, and you have an adjustable razor, you can turn it up, turn it down on the fly as you're shaving. If you want to do a little buffing and you don't want to overshave, you can turn a little bit milder and buff those areas a little bit as long as you have this protective Super Slick in place or turn it up a little bit, however you want to do it. But uh, you can finesse the shave a little more with an adjustable razor and a super slick shaving gel. And the, uh, the warmth from this is a bonus. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap there easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.